What's going on, everybody? It's my pull back. Thank you all so much for checking out another video. And what I want to talk about today is oh, the 10v10 mode in Modern Warfare 3 is wild. Let's get to some footage. And yeah, you know what? There's actually quite a lot I want to talk about in terms of Modern Warfare 3 because at the minute, everything seems to be looking very, very good. So, gameplay you got going on in the background, 10v10, team deathmatch, and I'm using the Holger, I'm just getting the mastery for it, and the Holger apparently caught a bit of a nerf. Now, I don't care what anybody says about nerfing this gun, this thing woke up, chose violence, and it is going to make it everybody else's problem. So yeah, the Holger is an absolute slapping machine, absolutely love it. Gameplay starts off great, doing well, getting streaks, and then it just... blows up right in my face but hung in tight went right to the end and yeah really really good enjoyable game it's you know it's not always good when you're slapping people it was a really good enjoyable game so the 10v10 mode i've been playing some tdm I've been playing some domination it's wild it's nuts it's chaos there's a reason 6v6 works because this can be a bit too much on these maps i think especially if you are one for map control and you kind of, when you play 6v6, the kind of like the whole muscle memory behind it, you kind of realize where people are going to be. You know where people are going to be in the back of your mind, like the majority of the time. And then when you kind of go into a room, expect one target and there's two or three there, it can backfire on you and it can go tits up straight in your face very, very quickly. Like there was a couple of times, you'll see in this game, there was a couple of times I kind of know where somebody's going to be. I go pick a corner and instead of having one guy there to take on, I'm taking on a whole fucking firing squad and they're aiming at yours truly. And while it's about think, oh, you know, more people to kill. Yeah, but there's also more targets aimed at you as well. So it's fun for a bit. Don't get me wrong. Fun for a bit. Really was fun for a bit. But there's only so much porn you can watch in one sitting. And that's kind of what I feel like this is. Had a very enjoyable time. Kind of got my fill out of it. We'll leave it there. If anything, now it makes me feel a little bit sick and disgusted with myself and I need to go get a shower. But away from that, you know, the trying bless them. Sledgehammer are trying. They're trying to do something different. They're trying to do something unique. They're actually giving a shit and they're talking to us about things that they've already got planned. Season one's going to come out in two weeks. By no way am I a news channel, but I was kind of looking through some of the stuff that's going to be happening. Like, dude, it looks decent, man. You know, we're going to get a new season, obviously new battle pass, Wee! new things you can buy. But shipments coming back. Shipment! Can't wait for that. Shipments coming back. There is going to be some new maps coming, and they're going to be new maps as well, not remade maps. They were on about the, in the Ask Me Anything that was on Reddit the other day, they were on about people were asking if they're going to bring DLC maps back, and they said no, that, that's not going to happen. And there's 2v2 maps coming back, which I've never thought was a popular mode. I always kind of felt that that was tacked on, but again, a lot of people are obviously playing it, so therefore, cool, if they're getting what they want, that's coming back. Theater mode's not coming back, they said they haven't got the time and the resources to do that. People asked about skill-based matchmaking, and obviously that didn't even get touched upon, they're obviously not going to bring up that Activision. If anybody in that development team brings up skill-based matchmaking, then the noose around their necks just get that little bit tighter and tighter as Activision just pull it, pull it, pull it, until they fully relinquish control whether that's going to change when that happens though, because it's not skill-based matchmaking, no, no, it's engagement optimization matchmaking, so, yeah, that, 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 that term's bad, don't like that, don't like that whatsoever, and they're on about different things like lobby disbanding and taking a look, now whether that's going to happen or whether that's going to be something that just to appease folk, or just say, well, at least we tried, or they are genuinely going to collect data on it, see how it goes, see how it doesn't go, and kind of go from there. I'm not that bothered as far as lobby disbandment goes, because nowadays I play with my boy, I always make sure I've got the lobby muted anyway, so even like when you could chat shit to each other, I remember in the Modern Warfare 3, the old Modern Warfare 3 days, I would always have Port Vale in my clan tag, and the amount of times you'd hear on my pile of shit, like, yeah, I know, but still, like, I'm stoked, but oh, well, you know, you haven't had a bath. And it, it just, you know, it was just the way of the world. And it was always a bit of fun, but nothing more than that. I don't see what the big deal is, like the make or break about it. Lobbies disband, they disband. I think the biggest part is if you get a really, really good lobby and a really, really tasty lobby, and that goes away after you're like, no. But still, you know, it's one of them. It's the nature of the beast has been happening for years. Something that I do want to see come back, though, is they are considering looping their streaks now. Now, now, this is a bit touchy because I'm up for it. 
I'm up for this because I'm the one dropping streaks. So, you know, therefore, I'm thinking, yeah, that, that sounds like a fucking great idea. I'd love to, you know, be able to get me UAV, VTOL, chopper gunner, then loop it to a UAV, VTOL, chopper gunner, you loop it, loop it, loop it. But if you were imagined, if you were on the other end of that, that shit, that summed up a point, like I said before, you expect one target, you get three. And I think I get jumped here after as well. But if you were on the receiving end of that, I know that would be shit. If you had some absolute twat, well, fucking preach drones, man. If you had some absolute twat waffle on the other team, just dropping VTOL chopper gunner, VTOL chopper gunner, VTOL chopper gunner. I mean, maybe the non-lethals, but then I think that'd be a bit of a cop out. If you're gonna do it, do it. Pussyfooting around the situation just doesn't really achieve anything for anyone. And so I'm kind of thinking if you are gonna implement this, whack it in the experimental, let people try it out. If it works, great. If it doesn't, just kill it. Never talk about the idea again. Because at the minute I'm happy with where the game's at and I am happy with it, but if you give me something like that and I get to use that and I get to abuse that to my fucking will and then you take that away from me, I'm going to be pretty upset about it. So therefore, let's just leave that in the pipeline. The fact that they've got an experimental playlist is working out great. The fact that they're listening to people to trying things out, they're not taking weeks to put patches out. You know, it kind of seems like we've had a couple of patches this week already. And then we had like a weapon balancing update and the downloads haven't been very, very big either. I, at the minute, everything's looking gravy, man. Everything's looking really, really good. They even put some Modern Warfare 2 maps in. Also, if anyone's still with me at this point, if you want a mode without skill-based matchmaking right now, Modern Warfare 2 matchmaking parties, trust me, there is no skill-based matchmaking in there whatsoever.